So in New Orleans, I did a witch's feet moving card with the links under the hat, you know, swung back and forth. And I gave the idea to a couple of the other demonstrators because technically I'm not online, I don't have a blog. And I thought, I'll just get that out there. So Sue Campfield took it and went with it. And I saw her this last leadership and she said, after I showed the, the wiggling feet or the dancing feet, her business just went crazy. So I was like, great. But this is so easy to do. You can do it with anything. So this is how it swings. So this is a swing card. And it's uh, the pieces that you will need or whatever you want to dangle from underneath a saying or anything else. So you could do an image and dangle a saying and swing it. But all you need is a piece of cardstock cut to your dimensions with a hole in the middle so that you can do that. So real easy. So you're going to put adhesive just below your circle here, just like that. Then you're going to take your image, and I've colored these, and you're going to put it right almost up to the hole, but not quite, and stick that down there. So it just simply looks like that. Now it's a little off center, but it's okay. Then you use your many dimensionals, and I did uh, put some on each side because this little guy is gonna go in the middle. You don't wanna put any adhesive here. So I put a little series of three on each side. And um, so that's gonna be my saying. So this Santa is going to dangle down. And so I kind of just eyeballed where I wanted my say to be. And then I'm gonna move him up just a little bit. So here's the simple card. All you need to do is take another mini dimensional and kind of put it in the top, but don't touch the top here. So it's just gonna actually lay there. Then you're just take all of the backings off. And the sky's the limit. I, I mean, you can do any kind of things that you can dangle. You can do images above and a dangle is saying below. And yes, you do need to take the dimension on the inside here. So then you just want to put it, I don't want to put it too low. I want it to be kind of right there in the middle of the white area where the Santa is. Detach that down and, and then it, sh it shakes just like that. And believe you, my customers have done this in class already and they're like disbelieving until they do it and then it works and they're like, oh. Okay. So the other little little fun game we're gonna do with this is use some Wink Estella. And I have a couple tips for you on this. Let me shake this puppy up. When the Wink Estella gets lower, it seems to get a little clumpier and, and it just doesn't blow as well. So what you're gonna do is take your alcohol, and I use 70% on just about everything. And I use a little dropper with the alcohol in it and I just kind of squeeze a little bit, drop that, dropper in and you can just keep adding alcohol in there and you will be amazed at how it rejuvenates your markers and makes that not quite so blue people are. And I've done that with this one. So I'm just going to come in here and do some Linka Stella on the white parts. And then on this one, I added the Linka Stella to the navy so that the whole background. And I will tell you, I love my blends. For the navy, I really had to put on a couple layers just to get it to be dark. But I mean, it just is beautiful. Then, yes, it does fit perfect. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so here you go. So now you guys can start doing some easy swing cards and absolutely amaze your customers. So here, the monkeys would be awesome, awesome. So here is the card that I made, and this is just that beautiful uh, foil that goes with the set and just a little inside and easy, and your customers will love it. So I hope you enjoyed my presentation. I tried to give you a lot of tips and tricks, and um, enjoy and try it all. Thank you. <laughs>